Raise your hand if you've ever been afraid of something. I know, we've all been there. I've been afraid of starting a painting. Um, when I first returned to art making, I was very locked up and going through a lot of grief and turmoil and personal upheaval in my life. And trying to learn all the technical aspects of painting and everything was just all over the place. I'm Natalie D'Addamio, I'm a mixed media artist, intuitive guide and channel, and a soulful creator, colorful, vibrant, you know, all those things. <laughs> and I'm here to talk about fear. Who wants to talk about that? Um, I think when we start to open up and have these conversations, we can spell the myths around what we see in the external world and start to dial it back into ourselves and really get a better grasp and understanding that, hey, it's all part of the process and it's all here for us to grow and learn and open and, you know, heal and learn how to love ultimately, right? So I was a very locked up artist. I was locked up for years and, um, and we don't all start out this way, but what if you do? And the thing is, if you're not afraid to paint, there might be something else that you're afraid of. You're afraid to maybe show your work. You're afraid to maybe get on camera and say something, and I'm still actually afraid of that. But I'm pushing past that fear every time I press publish, and every time I show up to the canvas, and every time I decide to enter, something and get rejected and you know have a show and then fall flat on my face it's all here and the thing about starting is well you just have to start i think <laughs> it's so simple but like sometimes all those fears can really be in the way you know you want to know the answer right away but sometimes when in the beginning we don't really know anything. <laughs> um, but it's not necessarily a negative thing. It's just learning that there are these steps along the path and journey that um, we need to take in order to get, you know, a little bit farther ahead. So I'm just mixing up this orange on a paper plate. It's really low tech over here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use what works. That's another thing that can get in the way of fear. Fear the right materials. Um, really, anything goes. It's just, <laughs> you can throw out whatever anyone told you. One of my favorite pinks is this cheap craft paint. I just love the lightness of it. It's, I forget what it's called. It's called Princess Pink or something. <laughs> pretty, pretty princess. And then for white, I'm using uh, latex paint. And I use, because I use a lot of white. Really anything goes. And that's just the way I look at it. But I'm sure there's an argument out there that that's not true. But I think it's determining what kind of artist you are. And I know what kind I am. <laughs> I tried to deny it for a long time, but <laughs> there's no denying it now. <laughs> so, it's about just getting it down. Uh-oh. color onto the surface and really start. We can have so many fears. I know for a long time besides um, being afraid to start. <laughs> I was really afraid to speak. Like to be in the world and that kind of see is embarrassing to admit but it's true um sometimes those things the, the hard things the scary things the things we don't want to say to ourselves first 
or to someone else are like the key ingredients to opening up and unlocking the doors internally. So whatever you're starting from, you have to take stock of that. Now, maybe you have no fear about starting, so that's not going to apply. But maybe you have a fear of showing the work or speaking about the work or you really want to be out there doing more things around what you're doing. So, you know, take it for what it is. You can replace fear of starting with anything you're really afraid to do, whether it's to have that conversation or write that song or, you know, whatever creative thing you're trying to express, wherever you're holding the resistance and the hesitation, you really have to start looking internally for that stuff. <laughs> and like when we talk about freedom, that's what, it, you know, we want to start undressing and uncovering those hard things first, the scary things, um, acknowledging where we need help, or acknowledging that maybe we need, you know, to take that class because you don't have all the information. And it's um, a combination of all of those things together over time that make up, you know, voice and fine style and all that stuff. But it starts kind of in that fear at least it did for me, like addressing them. So the more you address the fears and the more you make the work, of course, it's not just any one thing, it never is in our life, the more you're going to be able to, you know, move more freely. It's not like it's ever gonna be smooth sailing and we're alive, so there's definitely gonna be mistakes and uh, hardships, detours, dead ends joys, epiphanies, <laughs> tears, laughter, all of it, everything in between, because that's part of life. But the great news is if you're an emotional, expressive, abstract painter, you can use all of that and put it into the work. That is exciting. <laughs> so it's not always what it seems, right? And um, we can learn to uh, face these fears and just start from wherever we are. So we really start by just taking an honest look, and I mean an honest look, not like that pretend kind of look, you know, where you're like, mm. you ever take one of those quizzes and you're like answering what you like think it should be instead of actually what it is? <laughs> um, well, you're not going to get a good result if you're lying to yourself. You're just not. So you can do this privately. You don't have to tell anyone about it. Just write it. You don't even have to write it down, but it does help to like write this down, record it. You could throw it away if you need to. Burn it. Burn it. Send it into the ethers and let the universe take care of it. But, you know, you, you know, and if you have someone you trust or you get a coach or, you know, whatever kind of help is there, then talk to them about it because that can be really freeing. And um, when we, the whole thing about expressive anything really <laughs> is using our emotionality and opening up wider to what's possible kind of breaking through those barriers and fears and believe me it's definitely a process and <laughs> um, it can take a little bit and a lot and to show up daily too it's it's all it's all there and you're always reassessing this from where you are of course sometimes if we're in the beginning we have different problems to solve and then we as we move on and open up, there's always going to be another problem to solve. It's just the way it is, <laughs> you know. But if we can get comfortable with that understanding, then, you know, you'll be off to the races in no time. You plan for the long game in art and life and that trajectory, you know, I... Uh, of course, there's going to be setbacks, but like that, and that is scary. Because when you want something so bad, or you really thought that this was going to pan out this way, 
and then it falls apart it, it's just gonna really take you out and set you back so how do you get back in the game when you're like in that place and that's what I'm interested in helping you do by making these videos and coaching and teaching is to um, <laughs> not leave yourself out for years like I did <laughs> and get yourself back in the game the creative game of life right cuz you know, it's more fun when we're using color and playing. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> so these are just, star this is just a start. And if you're and afraid, well, you just got to start. Of course, there's a lot of things we can discuss in a future video about the technical aspects of things. And I'll talk to you. And try to make it more fun and also go over um, like the way I think about breaking it all <laughs> which that will be exciting because <laughs> I want to try to see what that sounds like but right now I just like I'm really loving this blue blue is my favorite if you didn't know that already um, <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna use it <laughs> inch by 40 inch canvas and it's I'm using it well I do want to start it but also is you can see the scope and there's a lot more movement and energy that has to come into these marks but you can apply that idea and dial it down into anything really <laughs> um, and that's exciting as well <laughs> because it is about expressing that energy and that emotionality and paying attention to the movement and all of that so all these subtle awarenesses and sometimes we're afraid if we're like locked up and you know all the stuff I talked about earlier um, the like stuff that's in the way whatever that is for you well when we go to like do the thing, that stuff's just, it's gonna rise. It is a natural process, especially in this kind of a mode of work. Um, I mean, maybe it isn't for everyone, but that's how I see it for me. I just wanna say that. And I'm, so this is all my perspective here. Do everyone loves the freedom and the looseness that comes out of whatever I'm doing. And I'm just telling you that's where it's coming from. And, uh, how and why and I don't always know either so you know it's about this is just like in life too in my spiritual practice it's about learning to see what's there and and in that process in that moment opening up to more and um, if you've ever been out like with a sunset or a sunrise you feel that like energy and that um, you know there's that timing factor kind of happens in our work like that energy that rise of emotion the fall all of that good stuff you can associate it with those kind of moments and like bring that idea into the work and that's exciting as well there's a lot of exciting things going on here in my world <laughs> this is just um a lira graphite stick I like, it's a 9, a 6B, they make 6B, 9B, 2B, I think, anyway. So when we talk about what, what we're afraid of, you know, I'm talking about painting, but we can really, you know, put anything in that place, you know. In the sense of like maybe you're creating something else or maybe you want to make a business maybe you want to do whatever I don't know but like what are you scared of because it, it is scary when you admit that like truth to yourself and deep let's take a deep breath sigh it out um, and sometimes it, it, we just can't you can't make anything stay um, we can work it out if we want to, right? And we first, but we ultimately have to work out with ourselves first because, you know, that's all we really have in the end. We're the only ones that are gonna like be driving this ship, this crazy spaceship, 
of creativity and um you know you know figuring out what we want for ourselves and um what do you want for your life you know like <laughs> it's answering those hard questions that really lead to like these openings and awarenesses and facing the fear behind it all yeah. it's not like no it's not really fun <laughs> but it can start to be fun as you move along the journey in art and life and that is are making has the ability actually to like open all of that and that's exciting too <laughs> so i'm just talking about facing our fears so we can move into a greater freedom within ourselves and this applies whether you're making a painting or whether you're showing up to life or whatever hard situation it is that you need to face there's so much possibility when we just admit what it is Sometimes that's like half the battle to getting to the other side of that creative spark and that next iteration of our lives and what that's going to look like for us. Sometimes it really does start by just uh, learning how to take an honest look about what we're afraid of in our and or life. And that could start to loosen the energy and the emotionality around trying to get to whatever we're trying to create. In this case, I was creating a painting or the, you know, the beginnings of one, but it can really apply to anything. So I hope you've asked yourself some questions and did an honest reflection about where you really are right now. And just to let you know, I'm doing it too, believe me. I have a lot that I still need to address and it's definitely not always easy. Um, there's always like speed bumps and obstacles when we're starting this vision or dream or painting or whatever it is or wanting to move in a new direction. I don't know what, I, you know, I'm trying to just express that it can really be anything and sometimes we're just, you know, thinking with our head and all the things that could go wrong instead of just opening to what is possible. New Year's Eve and I have something for you. It's a free downloadable meditation that deals with opening up to our energy and emotion and there's some more questions in there for you to reflect about this year and your work and the new directions you want to go in our end or life. There's a link to the PDF in the comments below and that is for you to work out with <laughs> if you want just um check it out thank you for being here <laughs>